uh, the, the, the coverages will break down and he catches someone. So I mean, the biggest thing for us is to keep him in the pocket and then and then get, actually get to him there. How crazy do you think this place is going to be? Oh, it'll be it'll be pretty good. I mean, I'm sure sure you'll see some guys hanging from the rafters, and uh, I think the security is beefed up. I don't know if we'll get any streakers tomorrow, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Dare to dream. Yeah. Calgary <laughs> has a tendency to, to go out. Turn the ball over a lot. Well, definitely. I mean, that's that's definitely one of the things that we look at. Like, we know that uh, there is a tendency to turn the turn the ball over. Now, the, the, the trick side of that is you got to make them turn it over. I mean, uh, when they don't turn the ball over, they've they've been really terrific and, and had some great showing. So for us, it's going to be about about hitting hard, hitting, swiping at that ball. The first guy gets there, hold them up so other guys can come in there, and it's going to be you know, can we make them turn the ball over? Is this sort of like a tonight going to be sort of a kid on Christmas Eve type of experience for you? Oh yeah, but I won't be eating any cookies though. I mean, it's, you got to keep your sugar down at nighttime. I think I'm going to be able to sleep. I think I'm borderline diabetic. But uh, no, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be. It's one of those things where you know I'm going to have to ask my wife to do me a favor and, and, and keep her and our little baby away so I can kind of be a little hermit down in the basement and just go through my thoughts and, and collect myself because it's you know it's a pretty pretty big deal tomorrow. Could you guarantee me you're not going to eat any cookies? I guarantee nothing. I mean, I, I, I'll, I say that I would like to not eat the cookies, but I mean, I, you know, I'm a man. I mean, I have wants and needs just like anybody else. <laughs> Scott, where were you in '88? I've, I've said this uh, a lot this week, but I, I kind of my interest in, in the riders kind of came. Uh, I jumped on the on the rider train after like post '89 Grey Cup, so I, I can imagine that. Timing on your part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Always advantageous. Uh, Looking for the looking for the open <laughs> opening there, but uh, I think you know I, again I was just a fat little kid playing with my uh, transformers and, and my GI Joes and and uh, you know, kind of aloof to the whole thing until you know it kind of dawned on me the greatness when, when you know what a great cup means and and uh, to see the adults around me and how they reacted it was kind of uh, that was kind of the, the inspiration to get get involved with this team. And back then you watched Kent as a player. Is it kind of weird to see him or kind of strange to see him as a head coach now? Is well, it? yeah, I mean it's. Uh, you know, you know, a couple more mishaps here or there, he could have been my dad. So I mean, it's you never, you never know. But uh, you know, he, he, he definitely was a was a role model, a guy that we looked up to as kids, and and you know, as, you know, he's, I want to be Ken Austin type thing, right? And and uh, to have him coach and to really understand him as a man and the way he thinks, uh, you know, the uh, the attitude that he's instilled in this team has been a pretty pretty neat thing to see.